What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time dropping in, Tommy Kittner here. And today we got a package in from Haltech. We got the new UC10 in. We got a couple of them. A um, couple of them in. So this is a new product from Haltech. How do you guys say it? Is it Haltech or Haltech? Haltech or Haltech? Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. Very nice. And we're gonna test it in Adrian's gone. Just because it's the easiest one to get to right now. <laughs> Not for any other reason. Right. Unless there's a sponsorship out there. Yeah. Hit us up. <laughs> I guess we gotta peel this off. Falls on the ground. No. Nice. <laughs> nice and yeah, I think you should get Hopefully a. They weren't <laughs> too expensive. Too expensive. Kind of be nice in the GTR too. Now that I'm looking at it. Right. So we just the dash is if for bare bones ECU only data. All you need to do is hook up CAN bus. So. Like a lot of the other GTRs, well, the GT, my GTR and the other Subarus that we've put the IC7 dash in, same concept, has a plug that goes into the back of the dash. CAN bus will relay all ECU data, and, and there's pins that can be pre that are and can be pre-allocated, and you tap into your factory harness for things like blinkers, high beam, low beam. All those lights can be displayed on the dash as well. Um, and then on top of that, with the new update that they just released, you can also use your dash as a input and output expander as well. So you get a couple new inputs Features. and outputs. Yeah. And you can also, uh, it comes with a Wi-Fi antenna. Yep. So then you can, your phone will actually connect to this dash. And it also has the two buttons that you have to mount that I'll show you and then you can check configure it how you want but here's the stock configuration you can see things like gear, gear position you got blinkers up in the top check engine light uh, oil pressure like this is all configurable to anything that you want it to be um, Obviously, this is just out of the box. Yeah. I wasn't getting to configure it for the Galant if it's not for the Galant. Yeah, because so. it it's going in a GTR. Yeah. But uh, but no, we just got them in and figure we would show you guys since it's the new hotness. Um, but the screen looks really nice. Um, actually, I guess we could start it and see how it functions. It probably RPM. won't. I don't know if it'll read anything or not. You don't think so? We can try. Or actually, yeah, as long as it's... You don't have to put your clutch in, do you? Nope. Don't push the gas. See the check engine lights on here, yep. but it's also on on the dash because I currently I had to unplug the wideband in order to do this. So we're running <laughs> a car with no wideband right now. Yeah, so hence why it's stumbling. But guys, we just wanted to show you the new dash real quick and uh, some updates on Adrian's Galant. 
got the AC fixed. AC is fixed. Yeah. It's on Haltech. Yep. Um, new shifter. New. Yep. So new short throw, but it's it's actually a modified 3000 GT VR4 shifter. So it's like OEM plus. Right. Uh, and then I think we got it turned in about what 24 pounds. 24 pounds. Yep. 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 So. Yeah, and then now we got the new intake and drop out wire stuff going on. Oh, yeah. You want to show them that? It's on the shelf over there. Okay. So, we're going to be installing this soon with a. What pedal is going with it? Evo 10. Evo 10 pedal. So, the car will be full drive by wire uh, throttle body and. Then we can do some cool stuff like add cruise control, which I don't think this this car have cruise control from factory. Nope. So um, you can do a bunch of things. All right, guys, I forgot to end this video, so thank you for checking out the IC7 dash and the updates on Adrian's Gallant VR4. Uh, drop a comment below what you think about it, and uh, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next episode. Peace.